nanotechnology, we've heard the term, what does it mean? Uh, the nano part means uh, it's a millionth of a millimeter. A uh, millimeter, we all know what that looks like on a, on a ruler. We've, we've done that at school, but it's a millionth of that. So something that you can't see with the naked eye. The major use of nanotechnology in cosmetic products is currently in the form of nanomaterials and particularly in sun care products for sun protection. Um, the most widely used material is titanium dioxide. This is normally found as a white powder, but when the particles are micronized or brought down to the nano scale, they become invisible. And this has two very uh, good benefits. The first is that it's a more efficient uh, filter so you can get a higher SPF value in the product, but also the product itself is then invisible when you apply it to the skin, so that when you're using it, you don't have that awful white pasty look that you would otherwise have got. Skin, its primary function really is as a barrier, so it doesn't let through things that it doesn't need, and that will be the same for the nanoparticles as well. Every cosmetic product is assessed for safety before it can be placed on market and this assessment is done by a scientist qualified according to strict European legislation. They will look at every one of the ingredients including those that are in very small particle size like the nanomaterials and they will ensure that according to the way the product is used there will be a very large margin of safety that there will be no risk of harm to the person using that product.